All right, so before we begin the uh, uh, painting of the inner frame, we're going to talk about the mode of 11 color, rose gold. I've used this many times, like I mentioned before. Well, not many, many times, only on two kits. And even though I have, I believe, a, a substantial amount, which I'm about to open up right now, So yeah, that's up to there. A good ten uh, percent, maybe fifteen percent of that of the paint inside the bottle. Just over here for a second. But fortunately, as fate would have it, I decided to buy more, and I reached out to my good friends at Robot Kai. Uh, they had. Uh, they had a lot. They just sent me this little s sticker here of this little uh, anime girl. And not only about one, but two bottles of rose gold. So I have enough to paint this guy. But no, wait, there's more. I even purchased some mixing bottles. The kaizu ones. In which case I can then pour what I'm gonna do is I'm, I have I actually bought four of these, so obviously I'm not gonna fill up four bottles of paint for this, but basically I have a lot of paint that I use that I think I'm gonna be utilizing these bottles because of future builds, you could say. So I have this guy for this color and I'm going to prepare this bottle for this color so that way they're ready for other kits you could say the other two that I have will be for like common colors that I've, I've always been uh, uh, favoring when I do my build when I do my painting like let's say Titan's blue one this is a great um, uh, charcoal dark charcoal color tone which I've always been a fan of so I'll definitely add it on to one of these bottles and, and label it and say, hey, this is going to be my, my go-to for this. Um, I believe I have one... F f well, I have two bottles that they gave me. One was for, for primers, so uh, those are the primer part colors. But for other colors, I'll only use it for this. And if I if I may end up getting more of these, uh, they're like $1.50 each at Robot Kai. So... You guys need to get one of these they have plenty and I believe that the the second largest one which is <clears throat> which is like uh, maybe a little taller like this will be like two dollars and the big one is like close to 250 all right uh, let me go over to my spray booth begin cleaning it up and prepare for paint priming all right, so I'm gonna begin painting the inner frame of the Double O Quanta using AK's uh, Extreme Metal Gunmetal. Extreme. Lowered the PSI's down to a, a nice little 20, sorry, 10 PSI's. And uh, I'm gonna begin priming my already cool standing uh, double quanta inner frame. I had to take it. And hold on, I'm just readjusting it a bit so it's easy for me to work with here. There we go. Okay, putting on some light passes here. By the way, I apologize if the sound and noise level is a little too high. Um, I may have mentioned this prior, but if I did not, I apologize. I found a, uh, a while back, years ago, I purchased a, um, let me zoom back a bit. I purchased a 
a microphone that is plugged in directly into my camera. So I'm not using the microphone that's on the camcorder. It's going directly to the camera um, through, a mop, through a mic piece to have to the side. Now, it worked well. The only problem is though, um, I kind of lost the, uh, what do you call it, the foam filter, or the, you know, the, the, po the uh, popper thing, the foam thing, to uh, displace the sound. So what I'm, I did was I went on Wish, that's like my new, my new favorite site to find like uh, cheap shit, and I found a pack of uh, six or seven for about a dollar. Uh, I should get it within a day or so prior to me working on the uh, working on the uh, inner frame part. I'm oh, sorry, the uh, trans amp parts. For now, we'll just wait until I get this done. Yeah, this, I, I, I forgot how well this color is because it goes nice and smooth. It doesn't, it is not as heavily darkened as like other gunmetal uh, paints. Unlike, you know, uh, oh God, Eloclad. Eloclad had, had a great gunmetal. The only problem with the Eloclad is that, and this is why I stopped, is because it, it for whatever strange reason, I'm gonna stop here for now. For whatever strange reason, the, the paint always seems to come out a weird color tone of uh, purple. Yeah, that like really mix it up to get, you know, to get the, the right um, coverage or the right, you know, uh, texture or look to it. I believe the gunmetal from Eloclide is almost considered a primer. This um, uh, gunmetal is nice and smooth, and this is the one that I actually used on the uh, on my two kits, I guess, on the uh, X on the uh, Perfect Grade Exia and the uh, other kit. But I always keep forgetting the name. Right now, I'm just painting some of the parts that's required. Um, Areas that are, that I know I'm going to need to do both back and front. Don't be um, discouraged of not painting everything. Paint everything. Just paint everything so that way you make sure that you got everything. Because you may end up saying to my, yourself, "Damn it! I thought I got that part. I thought I hit that." And then, you know, then you have to pull it out and then repaint it again. It's a pain in the ass. Dude, like this one, the GN Drive. I'm going to paint it, of course. It's going to be inside the kit and then it's never going never gonna to come out. I'm not going to use the, uh, the included uh, stand, uh, uh, support stand. It's going to be like this. has a nice shine to it. I also assembled the parts for the backpack. You know, I just realized that painting at uh, Trans Am is like pretty much painting at the metallic. And I haven't done a metallic paint job in a while. So painting this is pretty much about 
do. Once I see everything's cool, I will, of course, uh, move on to the next stage. So let me continue with this, all right? So I'm going to prepare two of the paints, one of the two paints that I'm going to be utilizing on the uh, double O Quanta. That is, of course, the rose gold paint by Moto. This is MX11. Great paint. And because somebody asked, I am going to show me show you guys how to prepare this. Um, I could have easily um, opened up the new bottles, but I want to finish up what I have here because I have very little, and I can I think there's enough here to utilize on all the parts here. Now for thinner, I have a bunch of thinner here. Obviously, I have uh, the finisher thinners from the finisher paints that I got a few years ago, which I still have. And eventually I'm probably gonna end up use this only for the finisher paints. I'm not gonna use it only for the Moto. I could use the Moto uh, thinner, but I have very little here. And I have a distinct feeling I'm gonna be, I don't wanna buy another one because I have, you know, this I will use it for other Moto colors. I'm gonna utilize with what I know works. Mr. Color Leveling Center. This is the best of all, in my opinion. I hear uh, if anybody has a different opinion on this, please share. So right now, take this off. Take this off. Now what am I about to do? So I'm going to. It's like a, a, a gluey, like a nice little paste type setup. I want to mix it up pretty well so that way I can flow it out of this. And I think I'm going to have to do it the other way. This is not going to work. I'm just going to put it on here in the amount that I think would be required. There we go. Doing this, prepping it prior to putting it in the airbrush would be a lot easier because then you don't have to deal with trying to make sure you have a, uh, an exact an exact consistency of the of the paint flowing well. Doing it from the reservoir, doing it from the res reservoir of your airbrush will tend to clog it up a bit even faster. Also, this is a strong paint very strong. I forgot how strong this is, so I'm, I should have gotten my, um, oh, I have my masks in front of me. Make sure you're well ventilated and you're covered up with this. Right now, let me just do this for now. If you have a, a mix, you know, this, a mixing uh, tool, like one of those little electrical mixers, should um, work well. Don't know if you if those um, 
believe there's a there's a little stand thing you can put on, and uh, you can make the paint you know mix that way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna continue getting putting more paint, more thinner here. This is technic, this can be technically a uh, what do you call it? A primer. You don't need primer for this because the the, the paint, the pigmentation on this is so thick, it's ridiculous. But once you apply it on the part, it's smooth as hell. As I've shown you on, on my on my current two kits. Alright, so a lot of globby things are coming out right now. I don't mind if it does, because it's not gonna put more thinner in the bottle. But I'm gonna. There we go. Let me put it on. But yeah, there's the paint right there. I'm gonna begin finishing up with this, marking this bottle, getting the other bottle, doing the same thing with the red, the bloody red, and then I'm going to um, mark it, and then we're gonna begin the painting of the other color of the colors soon. So give me some time while I prepare this before we move. 